Today on the show, we're taking a look at Supergirl in Action Comics, number 685, Funeral for a Friend, number 2, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. As I said, today we're taking a look at Supergirl in Action Comics, number 685, from January of 1993, Funeral for a Friend, number 2. So, this is technically the third part of of the Funeral for a Friend series. Uh, however, the Justice League comic wasn't actually numbered as a Funeral for a Friend, just a Funeral for a Friend tie-in, considering it took place at the exact same time as Funeral for a Friend Part 1. Uh, not bad. I just got this in the mail a few days ago. And... It's really not all that bad. I mean, a little bit of wear on the binding, but overall not a bad deal. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is by Roger Stern, Jackson Geis, and Dennis Rodier. <clears throat> As you can see, this here pretty much tells the events of what happened in Funeral for a Friend Part 1. And we open with uh, the director of Cadmus uh, pretty much confiscating the bodies of Superman and Doomsday. Or attempting to, anyway. Um, however, a lot of people, Guardian included, who actually works for Cadmus, uh, aren't really fond of that idea. They believe that Superman deserves a chance to rest in peace without prodding and poking and all that. Uh, you know, he, he's an American treasure, national treasure. He's a, an American hero, a hero of the world, really. And Supergirl comes in and pretty much stops him. Lex Luthor Jr., a.k.a. Lex Luthor in the mind of... Uh, in the, It's Lex Luthor's mind in the body of a clone manages to get a cease and desist order done because you know as was stated previously he may not have been able to kill superman himself but by god he's sure gonna bury him and all the while lois is just grieving she doesn't really know how to deal she can't share it with anyone except ma and pa kent and lana lang and Supergirl, because those are the only ones who actually know Superman's true identity. Uh, Supergirl has not shared that information with Lex, though. Lex, he gets so infuriated by Doomsday because killing Superman was his supposed to be his job. He breaks a chair right over Doomsday's head. <laughs> then we come to one of the prisons, and all the criminals are just saying, you know... It's true, Superman's dead, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Parasite is in mourning because he'll never be able to uh, absorb Superman's powers again. Uh, we get criminals who think it's going to be an easy payday now. Let me raise this up a bit. Sorry, guys. Criminals who think it's going to be an easy payday now that there's no Superman in Metropolis. But they didn't remember about Supergirl. So she stepped up to the plate to stop, to try and stop all the criminals, but she's nowhere near as fast or as powerful as Superman. She, you have to remember, this version of Supergirl is just a uh, an alien who can uh, an a an alien shapeshifter, uh, who also has the power of super strength, flight, invulnerability, uh, as well as I believe some telepathy and telekinesis. Uh, but I could be wrong. By the way, if you guys hear stuff in the background, I apologize. It's a nice day. It's in the lower 60s right now. I've got the windows open. Here in Illinois, central Illinois, where I'm at, uh, we had winter all the way up until uh, just last week, really. So I'm really enjoying being able to have the windows open for change. Uh, anyway, we come across Bibbo here, <clears throat> who, uh, 
who, you know, he was Superman's pal. He calls Superman his favorite, you know. He decides to close up his bar and call it a night, even though guys are wanting to buy him a drink and everything, but he's just so depressed with the death of Superman, he just, he, he doesn't want any company right now. He doesn't want to stay open right now. He just sends everyone on their way, and that's it. Now, something we don't really get much of anymore in comics are these bullpens. Letters from fans, to the editor, to the writers. You know, I kind of wish... I kind of wish they'd do that again. But, you know, we're in the day and age now where... If fans want to say something to the editor, they can just tweet them or send them a Facebook message or a comment or whatever, or an email. So there's really no need for this anymore, which really kind of sucks. But with that being said, um, this was an okay issue. Just okay. Um, not really a whole lot happened. Um, I read it. I read the digital copy. Uh, I purchased, as I said before, I when Comixology was doing their Superman sale, uh, graphic novels for five ninety nine. I bought the entire series: uh, Funeral for a Friend, uh, Reign of the Superman. Return of Superman and Death of Superman uh, so that I can keep these as collectibles and try not to handle them too much. This is the first time I've handled this one. And eventually, once I'm done going over all of these, uh, I have a plan on bringing to you a rereading of them in similar to what Comics Dorian does. However, one thing I've noticed rereading these and The Reign of the Superman, a lot of the stories take place at the same time. So what, am I, what I plan to do is weave the stories together so that I'm not going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I'm going to weave them all together in a way that makes sense for everyone. Uh, hopefully. Uh, so, that's my plans as of right now. And that's going to take place probably this coming December. Once I, uh, once my mowing season is over with. Because as you guys know, I own a lawn care business. So I'm pretty busy, uh, and this is pretty much all I can do right now um, because I just don't have the extra time to spend on editing multiple videos each week. I, when In the off-season, I try to do daily uploads. Uh, I still want to keep with that, but I think uh, this Funeral for a Friend, uh, Reign of the Superman and the return of Superman are all going to uh, take place once a week. I know I said in previous episodes that uh, I was going to try and do them, do them every single day. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do that. Uh, because at this time, I still have to get uh, issues 4, 5, 6, and 8 of Funeral for a Friend. Plus, there's a few issues individual issues of the reign of the Superman uh, that I currently don't have as well so I'm gonna have to order those gradually too uh, so we'll do funeral for a friend one each week until we get over it and that should get also give me enough time to collect uh, all the reign of the Superman issues as well uh, once we're finished with reign of the Superman I plan on going into Emerald Twilight so, with that being said, 
I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Take care, my friends.